So now I'm going to talk about customizing the Fit Advisor in ByteCAD Pro. This is the Fit Advisor dialog box here. And as you can see, we have a number of predefined fit schemes. I'll show you how you can tweak those existing fit schemes and add as many additional fit schemes as you like. Notice that each fit scheme is going to have a particular set of body dimensions that are used to drive the frame geometry. Those body dimensions are illustrated in this image here. And I'll demonstrate how you can change this image to reflect a different measurement scheme. Moving over to the recommended dimensions on the right hand side, you'll see that the Fit Advisor calculates recommended values for the crank length, saddle height, seat tube length, etc. This is only a small sampling of the total number of recommended dimensions that the Fit Advisor is capable of calculating. I'll show you how you can select which dimensions are used and which dimensions are left out in any given Fit scheme. Notice in the Crank Length tab that the Fit Advisor recommends a particular value and that that value is based on a particular formula. I'll demonstrate how you can turn the display of that formula either on or off. Notice also that the Crank Length recommended value is presented in increments of 2.5 millimeters. I'll demonstrate how you can select what increments the recommended values are presented in. All of this configuration is done in the View menu under Customize. This brings up the Customize dialog box and we'll have to go to the Fit Advisor tab. Now notice at the top of the screen we have a box to determine the number of fit schemes used. If you want to add additional fit schemes you'll need to change the number to some greater value and then hit Save Settings. Then you'll need to restart BiCAD in order to gain additional spots for placing your new fit schemes. Earlier I mentioned how you could choose whether to display the formula in the Fit Advisor or not. This checkbox here is what determines whether the formula are shown or not shown. Below that we have a listing of all the dimensions that the Fit Advisor is capable of calculating values for and the increments in which those values will be calculated. For the most part you might as well just calculate in increments of one millimeter for good accuracy. But for things like crank length and handlebar width, those are components that may only be available in certain increments, so you can specify that, that number there. Moving on down the list, we have a section dedicated to each fit scheme. You see this block of formula here is dedicated to the cyclocross fit scheme. Below that, this block is dedicated to the mountain bike fit scheme, and so on. So you're free to take the existing fit schemes and completely change the name of it and completely change the formula. Earlier I mentioned that each fit scheme has a particular measurement scheme associated with it. That measurement scheme is conveyed in an image. The name of that image is displayed here. If you'd like to create your own image to convey your own special dimensioning scheme, you just need to place the image file inside the BikeCAD Pro directory. Actually, more specifically, here I have the BikeCAD Pro directory. I need to go into the configuration directory. You'll notice that in the configuration directory we have a file called RiderGraphicGIF, RiderGraphic2.GIF, and RiderGraphic3.GIF. If you like any of those graphics, you just type the name of that image here. And, as I mentioned, if you wanted to create your own image, just put it in that folder and list the name of the image file here. Another note about these measurement scheme diagrams. If you are going to create your own measuring scheme and create a diagram for it, I would recommend, if possible, that you relate dimension C to the inseam. Because in the Dimensions dialog box, in the Rider tab, there is an option to display the inseam measurement. Well, this inseam measurement is always just going to display whatever dimension has been entered in Dimension C in the Fit Advisor. It's possible that your body measurement system doesn't involve taking the inseam length. If that's the case, you can disable or turn off the inseam dimension in the Rider tab of the Dimensions dialog box. That's also done in the Customize dialog box, and it's described in another video.
Next, let's explore the formula that make up the cyclocross fit scheme. We have a formula that calculates the recommended crank length. This particular formula is entirely dependent on the inseam measurement, which, as you may recall from the graphic, is identified as dimension C. So our formula is simply crank length equals 0.21 times the inseam length. You're free to come up with your own formula that may involve other body dimensions as well, such as the femur length, or any other body dimension that happens to be collected in your particular fit scheme. Moving on down the list, saddle height, again, is simply a function of the inseam length in this case. Saddle setback is a dimension that we may choose not to control in this particular fit scheme. If we want to disable it, we just uncheck this box. Seat tube length, if we choose to use it, we'll leave this box checked. And with seat tube length, you can choose whether to calculate center to center or center to top. In this case, again, it's primarily a function of inseam length. However, we take the result of this term and subtract a constant of 50 millimeters from that number to give us the final center to center seat tube length. Rider compartment in this example is a function of both height to sternal notch, inseam length, and arm length. Again, if you find that the dimension recommended by the fit advisor is longer or shorter than what you would personally like, well then you can tweak the formula by increasing or decreasing these terms here to give you a larger or smaller number. Be careful with this one. Handlebar drop is a very personal dimension and it's very tricky to come up with a formula that applies to everyone. It's an argument for creating several different fit schemes say one for more elite riders, maybe one for more recreational riders. You'll notice in this example that although we have the option to calculate a value for top tube length and stem length, we've disabled these formulas so they're not part of the scheme. If you do enable top tube length, I would recommend not enabling rider compartment. Rider compartment and top tube length are both dimensions that control the overall length of the bike and sometimes they can compete with one another. So I would recommend just choosing one or the other. Rider compartment might be just used alone and meanwhile top tube length and stem may be used together. Moving on down the list, you see that we have the mountain bike fit scheme, the road fit scheme, and the time trial fit scheme and all of these can be configured in the same way. After having changed your fit scheme preferences, simply click the Save Settings option, and as you can see, you will need to restart BikeCAD for these changes to take effect. Before you do shut it down, you may wish to check out the other options in the customized dialog box. For example, you may recall that you can display a stick figure representation of a rider on the bike. That stick figure representation is controlled by 16 individual dimensions. If you wish, you can relate the six basic body dimensions to these more elaborate 16 body dimensions through formula similar to the ones we saw in the previous screen. So again, body dimension A, B, C, D, E, F, plus some constant, can all be used together to approximate values for these 16 more involved body dimension. Moving along, approximate missing dimensions. You may recall in the Fit Advisor screen, if you're not interested in collecting all six body dimensions from the rider, you can uncheck the ones that you'd rather skip and let BikeCAD calculate recommended values for those. We have two columns here, one for female riders and one for male riders, where we can calculate an approximate value for C based on A, an approximate value of D based on C, an approximate value of B based on A, E based on A, and F based on A. Again, after having changed any of the values in these tabs, just hit Save Settings and all these changes will also be recorded in your fitadvisor.xml file. So that's just a quick run-through of how to customize the Fit Advisor in BikeCAD Pro.